about Utah. I'm in an elevator. But here we go. And we are here at the Davis Convention Center in Layton, Utah for the Utah Retro Gaming Expo. Let's see uh, how the line is now. It was quite long earlier. Thankfully, we uh, do not have to be in that. But let's go ahead and see how it looks now. <gasps> oh, the line is gone. Awesome. We'll get more footage of everything later, but uh, Art of Nintendo Power, very nice. Got a fun exhibit for that. Ooh, that's a cool sign. What else we got here? Game Expo, Free Play Arcade. And then we got the Retro Museum, Retro Esports Tournament, heck yes. And then of course the awesome arcade in here. All kinds of free play going on back there, very nice. And here is the starting area. Oh, still a bit of a line going, nice. That means everybody is in here for day one. Let's go uh, see, shall we? Oh yeah, all kinds of people. Very cool. Oh, there is all kinds of people here right now. This is awesome. This is a good size for a con. I am digging this. And then it also wraps around over to there. Very nice. What do you got here, Riggs? Hey, homie over there. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a deck, but it's uh, featuring Princess Tomato in the Salad Kingdom. Princess Tomato game. in the Salad Kingdom. Oh, and look, there's a Riggs game on it, too. That's that is game. epic. That's yeah. super awesome. That's hey, Riggs, so what state are we in? We are in Utah, kindster. We're in Utah. Oh, my gosh. It's double Riggs. Oh, oh look at this. Yeah. yeah. Woo, look at Chris, this guy. Chris Sandwich. That's right. Oh, hello. Yeah. Now, uh, in the land of Utah, yes. also known as the land of something else. I don't want to offend people, but... It's not, it's not offensive. It's fine. Uh, okay, it's the land of the Mormons. Um, Riggs is debuting his new game here, uh, right. Stack and Attract. Um, if you know, you know. I know. It's, 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 it's funny. It's not just a Mormon thing. Um, it, youth group, I mean, a, a lot of other things. Again, it's, it takes place at church. It's not a religious game, though. It's just the more chairs you carry, the more you impress the ladies. Exactly. It's like real life. Yeah. And that definitely never happens at a Mormon church. They don't stack chairs. They don't do that at all. Yeah. <laughs> stack and attract. All right. Let's go exploring, shall we? Okay. What all we got here? This guy, he's trying to tell me no filming. I don't trust him at all because he kept stealing my seat in the car. Ooh, got all that pop action going on, very nice. And what's this we have here? Nitro, very nice. Got some of your classic D-makes, but they got a Final Fantasy VII D-make. I haven't seen that one before. Ooh, some cool statues, like it. Oh, nice. Ooh, you gotta love the clear shells, nice. Got a bunch of toys and stuff too. Very nice. I need to find a switch light. Interesting. I found the one thing I was looking for. Now my kid won't be mad at me if it, I broke her switch and she doesn't know about it. Woohoo! Nice. Those are cool with the UV prints on there. I like that Zelda one. Seeing all kinds of cool modded stuff at this one. Let's see. Anything good in the N64? Displayed so nicely. You don't have to dig, digging it. <laughs> These are awesome. Yeah, it's very cool. Here, I'll demo it for you. Oh, heck yeah, let's see. Oh, this has got the thing in it. Okay, here we go. Is this ready to go? That's sick. Is it running an LCD or an IPS? So it is a Nintendo Switch. It's a Switch? Yeah. Just a Switch screen or the full Switch in there? So it's a full Switch. So this is a dock then? You can open it up. Yeah. Okay. That's freaking cool. Nice. Holy crap, that's awesome. Dang. X4 on Saturn. Right on. No More Heroes 1 and 2 bundle. Oh, I'm definitely going to have to come back for the kiddos here. I'm sure I can find something for them here. Who's this guy? 
Gosh, they're all here. Ooh, plushies. The kids will like the plushies. Ooh, I know a square peg that'll like that. Hi, Gabo. I tried. Is that a Gabo needs some title? Does Gabo need this? Yeah. Gabo needs this. I'm going to be selling this one because I'm going to get the upgraded yeah. version. Ah, I can see that. Ah. Yeah, I'm right here. Oh. Ah. I apologize for all of your ears. That's cool. <laughs> Woo. This is a gimbal. Woo. Everybody's in this shot. Heck yeah. How's the con going, Riggs? This is, I mean, I've been, I've been invited to conventions where this is peak Saturday. And this is like, yeah. this is like Friday early afternoon. So. This is the biggest Friday I've ever seen at a con. I think you're right. I mean, even like even I mean, the big cons. I, I like I love Midwest Gaming Classic. Don't get me wrong. But yeah. Friday is that Friday? You know. Yeah, Friday is just kind of like a hangout like arcade a thing. Too. Yeah. Like, there's a, like Game on in Phoenix. Uh, too many. Oh, too many games was actually super packed too. But yeah, for Friday it's more of a kind of a chill, kind of leisurely stroll around, whatever. But yeah, this is. Yeah. Yeah, people are ravaging. Heck yes. They, they require gamage. They do. So I just finished up my panel. Okay. I think it went all right. When's your panel? Uh, six o'clock. So yeah, it's a couple hours here. So along with uh, Gary, along with uh, Gabo. So you already have all the demos. Hi, Gary. I just had a really heartwarming interaction with a kid. And it's one of those that, like, this is why we do this. A little girl came up and was looking at one of the 3D prints. Uh huh. One of the, it was one of the oxalotls. Mom said, put it down. They're looking at some other stuff. They'll come back tomorrow. That ain't going to happen. That ain't going to yeah. happen. But she reminded me, personality-wise, personality traits, a lot of my daughter. So I told her to pick a color, white or blue. And I ended up giving her one of the oxalotls. And she was like besides herself, like, oh, but mommy said I couldn't have it. But I said you could. Take that, mommy. All right, so panel is done let's go explore some more see what all we can find there's half this place I haven't even seen yet ooh the glass case I like a nice glass case what do we got in here okay a deluxe edition nice what is mercenary kings I mean it's reloaded I know that much now there is a game I've never actually seen at a con before the Adventure of Rocky and Bullwinkle and Friends. That's a lot of ands. There's a few games here that you'd never see at cons. I like this. So, this guy said if I put my finger there, that's the price. So it's $3. It's totally what he said. He even did it with his own hand. I just didn't get it on film. Streets of Reach 2. I just did it better. Oh, there you go. See, he just said it's $3. Master System Streets of Rage 2. And what region was this one from? So it was Europe and Brazil only. Europe and Brazil this, only. This nice. European. Very cool. Ooh, more statues. Nice. Wow, look at those. Those are awesome. That's not safe for work. I am seeing so many games here that I never see at other cons. Ooh, a grab bin. I like. Five blues. Ooh. Nice little Genesis collection. Honestly, three was probably the best. What do we got over here? A bunch of boxed NES games. Nice. Very nice. Ooh. I see all kinds of stuff that's good. I see all kinds of stuff that's out of the price range. I love seeing a box of NES games, though. Now these, these are awesome. Did you paint these? She did? Very nice. Ooh, I like that. That Zelda one's really nice. Those colors pop. Well, I guess cell shading is just designed for paint. Who did the perlers? Nice. More boxes of goodies. So many pops. What was this one a special edition for? For Coca-Cola. <laughs> That's really cool. Still not finding 
any of the color variants I'm looking for. I found the toy section. There's a lot of toys here. Whoa, look at that thing. That's cool. Wow, there's another really cool piece. Is that new or just like complete? Or is this one yours? Oh, that's part of theirs? That thing is crazy. A lot more toys. Not really my thing, but they look cool. Ooh, nice Tears of the Kingdom poster right there. Hell yeah, all kinds of pins. Very nice. Earthbound, complete in box. Look at what this guy got. Dang, that's awesome. Here we go, got that artist alley going on, nice. Hey, how's it going? Dang, when you find the popular booth. There are so many people at this booth. Can I got be in the video? Kind of stuff. Absolutely, you can. Yeah. It's not YouTube. Yep. Here's Yo. a random dude that wants to be in the video. Hi, random oh, what dude. What up? Hey, What's your you YouTube? Saw. Game Dad Show. Game Dad Show. That's right. I'll have to look it up. Yes. I'll go click su subscribe. Hell yeah! And then you'll see yourself in the video. Yeah. There you go. The Thank you. <laughs> so I have seen a lot of stuff here so far, and uh, it's only day one. And it, this is just like the preview day. This is going to be awesome. I cannot wait to see what day two is going to have in store. It is officially day two here at the Utah Retro Game Expo. And uh, it is about to start. We got six minutes until they are letting everyone in for the second and final day of the con. So let's take a look-see. A little line action going on. Oh yeah, nice big crowd. Excellent. Today's gonna be a good day. Wild Riggs, who knows where he's going? No one knows. Oh my, he's coming over here. How you feeling, John Riggs? It's gonna be a good day. Had a great day yesterday for Friday. I mean, Friday felt like Saturday. That's it did. It was. it was so busy here yesterday. So today's gonna be insane. Today's gonna be like Saturday for some time. We'll see how it goes. This is gonna be awesome. All right, we are in day two. Let's see if we can find any deals since this is the final day. Ooh, did not see the Dreamcast stuff before. Nice. 150 for a Wii U, not bad. Oh, there we go. Netlink in box. That's cool. You never see it in box. And only 30 bucks? Is it in there? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's weird enough that I just may. I already have a Netlink, but I don't have one in box. Let's see, what do we got going on here? And what's your guys' store? Game Changers in Salt Lake City. Nice, the disc, everything in there. Oh, I am I am making a random purchase. Let's do this. <laughs> that is a lot of Amiibos. Very nice. Such a good game right there. That's cool, the plush edition. I like that. So I've got to ask, on the Gunstar, is that the best you can do on the price? I don't know what it's going for. I was just curious. I'm going to make a purchase, and it's going to make Square Pegs mad. Now that is some awesome artwork. Thank you. And it's spray painted? Yes. Spray painted. That's sick. Yeah. I've done Kirby before too. Really? Yeah, Link Kirby. Yeah. This is awesome. Angie Spray Art. And do you sell online also or? Yeah, I have a Facebook page. She'll take orders. Today. Here we go. She takes orders. orders. Angie Spray Art. Look at these. That's amazing. I love that. All right, it is time to go check the outside area. I did not get to there yesterday and there are a lot more people here today. You no, know, for the most part, this guy's kind of nice. I guess I could show his wares a little bit. It's obviously cheaply made, way overpriced. That's kidding. I, I mean, it's it's rock solid. It really is. He doesn't look amused. He told me to get out. That's not nice. I have a badge. I don't have to get out. You're not the boss of me. He looks so happy, folks. But seriously, look at all this stuff. This stuff is awesome. You don't get to play in my sandbox. He has a sandbox, but I'm not allowed to play in it now. Hang on. Give me one of the cards so I can put it on screen. So everyone, if you want 3D printed stuff, Right here, scan this QR code on the screen. There you go. If you don't, he'll steal your cookies. And of course, Riggs, all of his awesome stuff. And a uh, quick shout out to uh, my own business. So uh, Casey Art and Apparel, making uh, his awesome hats right there. And also his stickers, if you need anything, hit me up, Casey Art and Apparel on everything. But here are his games, including his new one, Stack and Attract, excellent. And then here we have Abdallah Smash. How's it going, man? Good. Good How's the con you. treating you? Dude, the con is so cool. It's definitely one of the best ones I've been to. 
this is yeah it's been fantastic it's got a there's a great crowd there's a great amount of stuff huge variety too many, too many treasure hunts right? yes too many treasure hunts and i'm over here at my booth and i just want to be out there finding all the treasure you, you got to go buy stuff now I will, I will and there we go abdallah smash excellent now for the outside world what do we all got here minus world right here how's it going Ooh, nice. Got the Evercade stuff. Very nice. Bless you. What is this? This Disney Infinity thing right here. That, so it's a case where it's my dad's personal collection. Where oh, okay. A Bunch of Game Gear right here. Very nice. And in television, lots of Intellivision. We got a bunch of plushies, a bunch of gotcha machines. Very cool. Some nice random stuff here. A show special here. All kinds of goodies. Look at all the pixel frames over there. Tons of games, excellent. And of course, the Mortal Kombat crew is over there, all hanging out, being awesome as always. Let's see what we got here. Any of the ones that I need. Hmm. Looks like these are all more common ones, darn. Now I remember one booth from yesterday had an N64 import I didn't have. But the price was a little higher than I wanted, so I'm going to see what it's like today. Let's see if we can find that booth and that game again. All right, so I picked it up. This is Gasp, N64 Japanese import. Still paid a little more than I wanted to, but not as bad as it was at yesterday. So I guess that's a win-win for everyone. All right, folks, let's go uh, behind the scenes and go check out the green room, shall we? Okay, I can't tell you all the super secret password. I definitely can't, but it's a green room. Oh, and there's other people in here and food. I like food. <laughs> All right, I got the grub. Let's go feed people. Gary, Hello, I got you something. You only get one of them. It's the man with the box. I don't know what that means. He's old people. I also got you a Coca-Cola. Hi, Ryan in the background. Hey. Where the horse? This is slightly family friendly. All right. Utah Retro Game Expo is done, and I had an amazing time. How about you, Riggs? Dude, it's it's just a chill show with such friendly people, great deals on the floor. Um, I love seeing not just video games, but also like the uh, toys from the 80s, like Mask, Transformers, mm -hmm. GoBots even. Um, it, such a chill, uh, it's just a great time, yeah. Heck yeah, this was awesome. Tracy, the showrunner, absolutely amazing. We love you, Tracy. Love you, Tracy, yeah. This was an excellent show. I cannot wait to come back to the show again. Maybe next year, who knows? But I was gonna say, are you inviting yourself for next year? I'm I mean, definitely inviting I, myself. I, I know I am, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so awesome show and thanks for watching everyone. Catch you later. Well, I thought the video was over, but uh, I realized I forgot to show you all what I picked up. So let's go ahead and do that really quick, then end the video. So right here, first thing I picked up, this is a Final Fantasy VII on the NES. Uh, it is a demake, obviously, but it's apparently set in the world of Final Fantasy III. So I thought that was really cool. I like demakes and stuff like this, so I thought it'd be neat to have Final Fantasy VII on the NES. Now, a couple other things that I picked up were a player's choice version of Wave Race 64 to go into the collection. Didn't have that variant yet. And then I also got Gasp, and this one is an import for the N64, one I didn't have. Then I also picked up, I thought this was really neat and it was a really cheap price. I, now, I already have just the device. This is the Saturn Netlink. And apparently there's some like hack stuff you can do to actually get this to work still. But this is the complete inbox uh, Sega Saturn Netlink. It even has the disc, everything for the web browser, all that stuff. So I thought that was really neat. And then I also picked up a Switch for a mod project that I am doing or a Switch Lite. And then the last thing I picked up is a game I've been wanting for a while. They didn't have the full, complete, boxed anything for it, but that's okay. It still has the manual, and that is Tunic. Now, if you like Zelda, if you like adventure RPGs, things like that, I have heard that Tunic is amazing, so I am very excited. And like I said, it comes with the full manual, and this thing has a thick manual. But yeah, Tunic on the Switch. And that's it. I mean, I did not pick up a ton of stuff, but they had a lot of really interesting things at the con and it was a lot of fun. Um, and to Tracy, the guy who runs the show, again, I had an amazing time. Thank you so much for having me out. 
I found some really cool stuff. And if you like this video and you want to check out another recent one, then check out this area right here. And as always, I'm Game Dad. I thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you later.